talk about catching and giving signals. A couple things that we need to be aware of when we're giving signals at the catcher is number one, we want to make sure that we're in a comfortable position and we give a good visual to the pitcher in regards to the signal that is being called. The second part is we also want to be careful that we don't have ourselves in a poor position to where we allow a visual for the first base or the third base coach to see exactly what's being called and potentially tip their team and the batters in regards to the pitch that may be coming. A couple points here with regards to the position. We are going to make sure that the glove hand basically will rest on the leg here and the glove will hang over the knee. That'll basically block the third base coach from being able to see the signal in that way. We're going to make sure that the legs are basically not too far apart and they're basically in a manner right there where it basically takes away the opportunity of the first base coach seeing signals as well too. When the catcher gives the signal, we would basically like for him to basically have his hand between his legs and near his crotch area when he's indicating the signal that he'd like to give to the pitcher.